How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and welcome back to Learning Godot Engine. In this short tutorial series, we're gonna look at a small feature or some kind of functionality, go through that as quick and as simple as possible and show you how to do it. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make text bob up and down. Very simple, that's all we're gonna do. We're basically gonna be using an animation player node on text or anything else you want. This could be um, used on a sprite to bob up and down. In this instance, we're going to be looking at text. So this is the end result. Let's go ahead and go into a project and make that uh, from scratch. So this is a, uh, a newer project. It doesn't have much, but it has a background image and it has the text that we're going to be using. So I want to click on the add and put in an animation player. So we're going to add the animation player uh, node and we're going to make the salmon uh, title the child of that node. And inside here, we're going to click on the animation and we're going to add a new one. And you can call it whatever you want. <clears throat> so we're adding a new track here. We're going to click on add track and we're going to add a property of the salmon game title because that's what we want to modify. And then what do we want to change? Well, we want to change the position because we're going to have it go up and down. You could take the same idea and apply it to different properties, but for now we're going to select position. How animation works is it applies keyframes and then it sets uh, changes over, over time based on those keyframes. And it does sort of like a tweening effect. We'll make it six seconds by putting six in this little box right here. We're going to add three keyframes on the position. So I'm going to right click and say insert a key. And that's going to take its current position and store all of its data like that. So what I want to do with this first one is decide how high do I want it to be. Then I'm going to go to halfway through and I'm going to insert another keyframe down here. And then what I'm going to do is right click and duplicate the, the keyframe from the beginning and drag that out to the end. So inside this keyframe, we're going to change the values of the Y so that we can say at at this point, three seconds in, where do we want it to be? It should tween in between them. If we click on this keyframe, it will show us the positional data of this node at this point in time of the animation. So it will tween between the keyframes. So all we have to do is select the second keyframe, give it a different data set, and then the third keyframe and return it to its uh, starting position and click on this button here to have it auto play. If we click over here and then we press play, we'll see that the animation starts and it, it's bobbing up and down quite a bit. And then what we can do is have it loop. So we're gonna click on this button here to have the animation looping. So when it comes to an end, it will start over again. And there you go. You can fine tune it by clicking on the nodes and giving it different numbers. You could also have it um, bob back and forth on the X as well. You can continue to add keyframes to make it do pretty much whatever you want. You can add more properties by adding a track property and, and selecting the node and then uh, having it scale even. This is beyond the scope of this tutorial, but um, this gives you a brief introduction of how to, to bob text up and down. And uh, hopefully you found it informative and helpful. If you have, give this video a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe. All of the good things, come hang out on the Discord. Links are in the description below. And we have a Patreon if you'd like to support what we do here on this channel. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck with your project. Bye-bye.